All right, today our viewer has asked, how can I gain weight on a whole food plant-based diet? What are some safe calorie dense items? Very important question. Uh, most people, especially in Western societies, uh, their problem, they're carrying too much weight. Uh, and as they transition to a whole food plant-based diet, they lean down and they're usually very happy with that. But given the bell-shaped curve of distribution of homo sapiens, there are some folks way out at the left-hand tail that are just skinny folks uh, to start with. Their parents are really lean, their brothers and sisters are very skinny in their family. Uh, and uh, people have noticed that no matter what they were eating, but then they transition to a plant-based diet. They may even lose a pound or two when they stop eating the ice cream and the cheese. And their parents are all concerned. They're concerned when they look in the mirror, they get out of the shower and they look at themselves, well, I'm too skinny. Now, what can we do about that? Uh, so it's a valid question. And, and, and people who are really low in weight, especially women, uh, can wind up with osteoporosis because they're, they're, they're so light, they have so little of their skeletons that they lose bone density. You, you want to be uh, in the range, you want to be a my well over 18 uh, to keep yourself you know, uh, fit. So how can this person uh, increase their healthy body mass. It's not just a matter of putting on weight. You don't want to grow a lot of abdominal belly fat. That'll make the scale numbers go up, but that's not really healthy. It's not a matter of just loading up on a bunch of fat and sugar uh, and putting on big belly fat and, uh, and think you're really healthy. You're not because while that's happened, not only you become more insulin resistant on the way to diabetes, but your arteries are clogged up, there's more inflammation in your body. You know, that's not the name of the game. But this caller did, or this uh, uh, question asker, did bring up uh, the issue of, uh, of increasing the nutrient dense foods. And yes, they play a big role here. And I can give you lots of specifics, but what I'm going to do. Uh, and maybe Annie can uh, put this uh, reference down at the bottom here. Now, there's a wonderful article by a vegan bodybuilder friend and colleague of mine, Robert Cheek, C-H-E-E-K-E. -E. Uh, if you go to uh, the No Meat Athlete website, No Meat Athlete, and you put in Robert Cheek there. Uh, Robert's written a lovely medium length article on how he went from 140 18 or 20 pounds of uh, vegan up to 200 pounds. And he put down all the, the nutrient dense foods that he ate. Uh, and then he went to the gym every other day and man, you got to put in the sweat. You don't want that, as I said, to turn into fat. You want to tone up some muscle. Even if you're a woman, man, you want to tone up your muscles. You're never going to turn into Arnold Schwarzenegger in his prime there. You're not going to get muscle bound. Uh, but you do want nice firm muscles, one, because you just want to be a fit, strong woman as you go through your life. But that also is the key to keeping your bones strong and avoiding osteoporosis, protecting yourself from fractures if you fall. Now, you want to be strong. And so uh, whether it's uh, having some little hand weights at home or some elastic bands, uh, but every other day you need to do something uh, for a good half hour that uh, puts some resistance into those muscles and, uh, and uh, keeps the uh, tone of those muscles up. Everything will benefit. And that's where the healthy weight comes from. So, uh, so uh, go read Robert Cheek's articles in the No Meat Athlete, and he'll give you a list of all the nutrient-dense foods. Uh, does he use protein-enhanced smoothies? He does. Uh, he'll have you make up a smoothie every other day and put about 20 grams of protein powder, not 50 or 100 grams, uh, but 20 grams of protein powder in there. Oh, but this is one part of a day of healthy eating that's got plenty of, of beans and rice and potatoes and uh, nutrient dense foods, lots of greens and beans. Uh, you know, that's the real key to healthy weight gain and then go to the gym and turn that into muscle. That's really what you want to do. So uh, go to No Meat Athlete, read Robert Cheek's article, and he'll give you the guidelines there. And even that those protein fortified smoothies, this is like six months. 
uh, you know, a year at the most. Yeah, this is not a forever thing. That can be hard on the kidneys. Uh, you, you don't want to be using the, these uh, protein powders for very long. But for that year that you're going to be working to put on those extra 20 pounds or 30 pounds, yeah, that plays a small role. But it's the whole plant foods and it's the, uh, it's the muscular activity that really puts the healthy weight on you. So if you do that, uh, you, can, you can work yourself, you can sweat yourself out of the skinny vegan uh, category there and turn yourself into someone when you walk in the room, they say, wow, man, she looks great. Boy, that's a healthy body. There, She exudes a glow of health. And that's what will happen as you, uh, as you put on healthy tissue in your body. Hi, everyone. Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Andy Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.